Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this video, we're going to see what is different between Vegas Pro 18 and Premiere Pro 2020 because last year in September, I dropped a video where we compared Vegas Pro 17 when it released versus Premiere Pro 2019. The video actually picked up quite well. It got a little over 100,000 views. So I thought, all right, Vegas Pro 18 released a couple weeks ago and also Premiere Pro 2020 is out as well. Let's go ahead and, and compare these softwares because of course, when Vegas Pro released at the beginning of August, it has a lot of new features and it's actually coming very, very close to Premiere Pro because of course, Magix are doing its best to make the software as user-friendly as possible. And of course, also as advanced and of course, not really saying like, all right, Vegas Pro is still a beginner software because of course you can see the differences because Avatar, that movie is edited with Premiere Pro. Paranormal Activity, believe it or not, is also edited with Vegas Pro. So, so a lot of movies are edited with Vegas Pro. That's just a fun fact. So that was a great idea to go and see what the difference are, which features Vegas Pro 18 has that Premiere Pro CC 2020 doesn't and also the other way around. So if you guys are excited and if you're curious, what is the difference between these two programs? Because people keep asking which is the best software out of those two. Make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the first time watching. Let's start comparing these softwares and that's why I'm making fire right now. Of course, right after the intro. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, All right, guys, so as you can see, we're on this page right now. This is the column that we see when we have Vegas Pro versus Premiere Pro. So of course, not really like every single thing in this column will be accurate because of course, Vegas Pro 18 has a different price range, of course, and all that. So, but the majority of this is actually right. Vegas Pro is only available on Windows in compared to Premiere Pro, which is available on both Windows and Mac as well. Now the price standard is 689 compared to the the annual subscription from Premiere Pro, which is 239. So the upgrade is 599 for Vegas Pro, but let's just double check that real quick on the Vegas Pro website. All right, on the website, it says it was 698, but actually Vegas Pro, a new purchase right here is 599. And the upgrade itself is only 249 instead of, let's see what this said right here. This said the upgrade was 599. Right now it is 249. So if you want to pick up Vegas Pro, the link is down in the description, guys. I highly recommend it. I also uploaded a walkthrough a couple weeks ago when it released and people were blown away. The, the features is crazy. But we'll get to that in just a second. Vegas Pro is only compatible with Windows computers compared to Premiere Pro. And you can't also purchase Premiere Pro for like a one-time payment. Vegas Pro actually does this and it's $5.99. But right now you can only get a subscription for a Premiere Pro monthly or per quarter, or per three months or whatever. But you cannot just pick it up anymore for like, let's say 1200 bucks one time. And then you can get like the lifetime feature. So that's actually one of the differences. But Vegas Pro guys, don't forget that Vegas Pro has also a subscription. If you go back to the website, we have Vegas Pro 365, which allows you to also have an annual payment, or you can just have it monthly, which is $23.99. You can just find everything out in the link down in the description. But you can also have Vegas Pro as a one time payment. But if that is a little bit too much upfront, of course, you can also get the full version, of course, for only $23.99 a month, or you can also have have like this monthly payment for 12 months, which is going to be, you will sa actually save three bucks, or you can also get this annual payment, which is $19.99 a month, or you can just purchase a new one, or you can upgrade. It's totally up to you what you're most comfortable with. So right here, they say about Vegas Pro that it has a straightforward and easy to use interface, some customizable options. And what they say about Premiere Pro is a great user interface, can customize the layout and window size and save your own template workspace. That's also possible, guys. You can also completely customize Vegas Pro. You 
can make like the layout completely different. You can pop out any windows, whether it's the preview screen, the volume slider, you can also save these layout presets. Let's say that you messed something up or you just, for example, X'd out, for example, like accidentally, like a window you need, you can just go back to your view. You can go to layouts and then you can just pick your saved one. So that's also possible in Vegas Pro, but that's actually not necessarily new in Vegas 18. I think you could do that from like maybe like Vegas 15 or 16 or up. All right, so the timeline of Vegas Pro, it says arrange the clips how you want in a traditional timeline. And about Premiere Pro, they say arrange the clips how you want in an additional timeline as well. But right here, it says 4K in Vegas Pro. Yes, but it needs a higher system specifications. And in Premiere Pro, 4K editing it is not possible. It's hard to believe because of course, Premiere Pro has been around since, like since the 90s. So it's kind of weird that you cannot edit 4K footage into Premiere Pro. But the thing is in Vegas Pro 18, they also included a brand new feature where you can now render your videos in 4K. So I think in Vegas Pro 17 and all versions below that, the highest resolution you could render, I think was like 3840 or something by 2160. But in Vegas Pro 18, they actually cranked it up from 3860 or 3840 to even 4096, I believe, or just like the, the standard resolution for 4K video. So that's a really, really cool thing that Magic's implemented into Vegas Pro 18. Now, when it comes down to color correction, color control is available, but not as easy to use as Premiere. I wanna mention that you have, like if you press Alt G on your keyboard, you can have these color grading panels in Vegas Pro 18, but that was also the case in Vegas Pro 17 as well. So I think it's pretty much easy to use and it's just a matter of getting used to it, you know? And that's what they say about Premiere Pro, easy and intuitive color controls. So both for Vegas Pro and Premiere Pro, they say easily create and edit text and titles. That's very true in both actual programs. You have like pre-animated titles, nothing too special about that. Right here in Vegas Pro, it says motion graphics. It says no. And then in Premiere Pro, it says yes, plus After Effects integration. Now I wanna mention that in, of course, Vegas Pro 18, we don't have an, like any kind of size software as it comes to After Effects and Premiere Pro. So uh, the really, really great thing is that you can also edit like pictures in like Vegas image. So you can actually do a little bit more than just the standard video editing. You also have like Vegas posts and like this entire bundle. So you can also actually can, you can kind of compare that to After Effects. Basic audio editing and mixing. And in Premiere Pro, it says great audio controls plus links to the Adobe Audition. Maybe in like future versions, Vegas Pro 18 or Vegas Pro 19 next year could also, for example, link to Magic's or Vegas Soundforge. That should actually be really good because right here it says that Adobe Audition is linked to Premiere Pro when it comes to audio editing because Adobe Audition is actually a audio editing software. So I think Soundforge by Magic should also be a great addition to Vegas Pro 18. Now it says integrations, Vegas Pro you have none, but right here in Premiere Pro it says yes, compatibility between other Adobe programs. Right here for the user collaboration, it says no on the Vegas Pro column and on the Premiere column it says, great for working with a team across multiple systems and our programs. So, so that's kind of a limitation when it comes to Vegas Pro because you can license it on like two computers I believe with like one serial code or one version. But the thing is that if you have, for example, like one project and you're working on it with multiple people, I don't think that you're able to, like if you press S on desktop one, they will also see the live changes on desktop two, for example, when you're editing a Vegas project. <laughs> Come on, why are you biting my ankle? Why are you biting my ankle, my little friend? But that's the point I was trying to make guys. Of course, that would be also a great thing that you can have like one single, you know, Vegas Pro project and many people could work on it. And if you press Control S, a lot of people that you're working on it will be able to see those changes live as they have the project open. Now, when it comes to file management, of course, it says simple, organize your files how you want. And also that's the same for Premiere Pro. Plugins right here, we have Vegas Pro. It says some basic plugins available. And in Premiere Pro, it says a vast amounts of third party plugins. Now, I want to mentioned that Vegas Pro is actually compatible with a lot of plugins, even audio editing plugins, because a perfect example of that is I am making my own music and I use the, the software Pro Tools for that. Now in Pro Tools, I have like certain plugins such as Echo Boy and Phase Mistress. And what's the other one? I think is like Filter Freak and all that. And these plugins are actually compatible with Vegas Pro. They have nothing to do with Magix or Sony or whatever. They're owned by Sound Toys. They're not in any way associated with Vegas Pro and even 
open Vegas Pro 18, can read these plugins, I can open them up, I can just apply effects from Silent Toys, from Echo Boy. So let's say that I want to have like a lot of Echo things. I just activated these on my computer and Vegas Pro can actually read it. And you can also just apply effects from these external plugins, not even owned or associated with Magix. You can actually apply these ones into Vegas Pro and that also counts for Premiere Pro. All right, guys, so this is basically the feature list that I received from my manager from Magix, and it is actually a lot of new presets. There are actually a lot of new features in there and plugins as well, because right here, this is what's new in Vegas Pro. We have the new motion tracking panel. We have the HDR improvements. We have new plugins, color grading improvements, 30 new fonts. We have new presets and animations for titles and text optimal trim handles for timeline events and so forth. We also have the incremental save, which I think is called the increment and save in the Adobe world. So that's also very, very cool. I did a video on the incremental save in Vegas Pro last week, and it is actually really, really handy that you don't have to keep overriding the same project if you're making certain changes. That's also very, very cool that Magix now included the incremental save into Vegas Pro 18, just like Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects have. So let's see what is actually new in Premiere Pro 2020. One of the new features in Premiere Pro is actually the auto reframe. The biggest new feature is unarguably auto reframe. This is the only new feature in this release. The effect uses Adobe Sensei machine learning to be able to identify objects that humans find interesting. Basically, they took a lot of pictures and told the computer to analyze how human retina reacts to them and learns the patterns. So how does this feature that is supposed to automate the task and reframing videos for different aspect ratios fit in everyday editing workflow? You can read about that, of course, on the website. That's just one new feature in Premiere Pro. They also have System Compatibility Report 2.0. They also have a new audio volume rubber band and time remapping. They have shortcuts, more shortcuts, motion graphic templates on steroids, <laughs> and just a couple, but not as many features as Vegas Pro 18 also have in their own version, because of course, Vegas Pro 18 is a little bit behind when it comes to, because of the amount of features that Vegas Pro has, because of course, Vegas Pro hasn't been around since like the 90s, like Premiere Pro has been. So of course, Vegas Pro keeps adding a lot of features in every single version. So these are kind of the, like the big differences between Premiere Pro and Vegas Pro guys, like the payments. You cannot buy Premiere Pro in like a one-time payment in comparison to Vegas Pro where you can. A lot of differences when it comes to like 4K editing and all that where you can in Vegas Pro, but you can't in Premiere Pro, all of that. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope I cleared up some things. This is the comparison between Vegas Pro 18 and Premiere Pro. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a like down below. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to do some research if you want to know more. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in my next video.